share a few words about experiences that we faced. We had a magnitude of 7.9 on the Richter scale earthquake and uh, how to say it is uh, not an at ease feeling such a restful feeling seeing such a destruction hit so fast and so swiftly and then leave a amount of destruction pain and uh, heavy heart in all of us. We really are scared and we are really taken by this situation. It's good to speak about it because so that it loosens ourselves, it loosens and softens our mind and heart so that we will be able to share each other, help each other. And everything is about helping mentally, physically. I hope that people who ever it may concern that this message will be understandable. You get a clear picture of what we're doing. On that day, April 25th, we were having a initiation monastery in Nepal, Bodhanath. We were having an empowerment ceremony. An empowerment ceremony is a, about a teacher who will proceed uh, teachings and treasure revealed from very ancient time uh, lineages. So you can imagine the whole area from top to bottom, sideways to sideways, east to north, north to west, or north to south, sorry, filled, packed with um, elder people, younger people, children, and babies, so many monks and nuns, families and so forth. But we were so happy at that time that nothing happened to them. So we were still saying that really the teacher, his name is Yang Tang Bichi, he was the one who was presiding the empowerment ceremony. He really saved us all. Because of this ceremony, everybody gathered here. It was a daylight time. So we were all huddled here. We took care of them, our monks, our senior campos, troopers, took care of the lay people, controlled the people, not let them, how to say, uh, sort of uh, overwhelmed or stampede on each other or run out, escape, so forth. To control them, to help them in the needs of food, of course shelter. These iron pillars on both sides to keep and resist this platform not to fall. Even though these iron pillars will not be able to keep for so long. You can see from this level, from here to there, last here in the children's playground. One of the biggest help we, our Shechen Monastery, was able to provide was monks, monk rescue team. We had to send manpower. We have, as I mentioned, 500 monks. So the biggest advantage we had is manpower. So today, unfortunately, we don't have monks here because all of them are out working in the fields, giving medicine, food supplies, building tents, temporary houses, and so forth. 300 monks are already sent to places like Sindhupal Chok, Noakot district, Raswa district, and uh, uh, Melamchi area. These are the most affected areas. So, as you can see, not much, but this is our store room. We kept, I think, maybe 100 bags of rice, water, medicines, supplies. Water, sorry, uh, purification, water purification. This is our bunker, bunker to keep all our goods and needs for the earthquake destruction, relief, and preparation, and so forth. So you can, you can see inside. 
Now we have long-term plan that to restore everything, to rebuild all the monks' quarter that have been damaged badly. And to next time to have a very clear strategy as we have a very good experience what has happened, what we have done with the monks. So it has given us a broad knowledge so not to fear right away but to help as much as we can. We were all here. So we had each other. We will look after each other and we will always stick with each other. Never to sort of avoid or back down or to sort of hide ourselves. So thank you very much. And long live sacred Nepal. Thank you. Yeah, right.